Well, the response has resulted in a resounding yes! Rapid Fire Skin Review makes its glorious return back to reviewing brand new skin lines along with the Patreon funded ones. And what better way to start us off than the first truly brand new skin line of the year, Broken Covenant. Bit of a confusing name since Coven already exists and the skin universe is actually called Forsaken Him, but whatever. A universe of myths, monsters, and glass depicting an eternal war between two opposing sides. The Never Gassed, which are basically our substitutes for vampires but replace shadows with stained glass and blood with breaths, and the opposing good guys? A replacement for vampire hunters, the aspirants. Is it... isn't that some kind of medication? Regardless, it's nice to see something actually different skin-wise for once. Even if they aren't all bangers, some of these skins on offer are pretty goddamn awesome. So let's get this underway, shall we? Starting with Broken Covenant Zaya. I say these skins are pretty awesome, but I'm starting us off with the worst one by far. An aspirant blackmailed into helping Vladimir, saving Rakan's life in exchange for spying on her fellow aspirants. <laughs> Now is it just me, or is this one not work? The aesthetic of the aspirant humans is holy battle nuns, and for someone like Misfortune who doesn't usually have a hood, this works great. But for Zaya, she already has a hood, this barely looks any different. From a glance, this really does just look like a chroma for her base skin, and in my opinion, this is easily the weakest of this skin line. Paradot is the best chroma, 3 out of 10. Broken Covenant Misfortune. Ah much better. And this is gonna sound a bit hypocritical since I've talked about Misfortune having way too many skins in the past, but I'm honestly shocked this one isn't a legendary. Huh? It looks great, Misfortune rocks the warrior nun aesthetic wonderfully, but I can't help but feel it's missing that special something. A big part of this skin line is the broken <laughs> friendship between Riven and Misfortune and the viewpoints of their conflicting sides. But because Riven's the only one of the two who got a legendary, really only one side of this universe is explored in depth. Also, Misfortune's model is 10,000 years old and her animations are crusty as fuck. It's still a great skin, even if its potential wasn't fully reached. Ruby is the best Chroma, 8 out of 10. While the Prestige version looks like some jank-ass hybrid of Broken Covenant Space Groove and KDA, I'm not a fan of this one, but when am I ever a fan of Prestige skins anymore? 6 out of 10. Speaking of 10,000 year old models, Broken Covenant Nocturne. I feel so bad for the artists on this one, dude. No matter how cool of a concept they come up with, they're still making a skin for Nocturne. And while the shadowy figure does provide good contrast as the villainous side of the aspirants, and the particle effects are lovely as always, it just... It just looks so fucking stupid. The potential is definitely there for something that could be so cool, but it's wasted on a model that just makes it look goofy. <laughs> Sapphire is the best chroma, 5 out of 10. Broken Covenant Cho'Gath. Wow, just wow. I didn't even think it was possible to make a Cho'Gath skin this good. An Eldritch Horror unholy weapon crafted by Nocturne meant to cleanse the world of the Nevergast once it fully awakens. And goddamn, what, what the fuck is this bloodborne ass Elden Ring looking ass monster design? The billowing cloud beard, the fortress on his back, one of the only instances where a Cho'Gath skin changes his scythe hands to something else. And another fun fact, this skin was designed by Metaforcer. Don't know him? Remember that fan-made Cho'Gath VGU concept way back in the day? Yep, that's him alright. I don't think this one is held back quite as much as Nocturne is, at least he uses the more modern animations they made for Darkstar Cho'Gath, but just imagine what this skin will look like once he finally gets his proper VGU. That's definitely happening. Regardless of its constraints, this is, in my opinion, Cho'Gath's best skin now. Tanzanite is the best chroma, 9 out of 10. Broken Covenant Rakan. Finally moving on to the Nevergas, and unlike his partner, Rakan doesn't just look like a color palette swap. Killed by Vladimir for stealing from Vladimir, then resurrected by Vladimir to aid Vladimir. That's some good lore. And yeah, it's fine. I enjoy how his feather cape looks like a stained glass window, and it does a good enough job on its own. But to me, I don't know, it's missing something. If I'm gonna pick a skin with Rakan turned to the dark side, I mean... Star Guardians right there. Just like Arcana Zion Rakan, they don't have special joint recall animations in this skin line either. It's nothing special, but nothing terrible either. Obsidian is the best chroma, 7 out of 10. Broken Covenant Vladimir. It's convenient I talked about Bloodlord Vladimir last week, seeing how it was just Vladimir, but more of him, because here comes Broken Covenant Vlad with the very novel idea of turning him into a vampire. But hey, at least it's not a normal blood vampire, right? Or what does he do? Siphon air out of them since the never gassed feet on breaths? Another example of a champion hindered by the age of their model, but that's not my biggest problem with it, because honestly, if given a blue color scheme, this could easily be mistaken as Cosmic Vlad. I will point out one thing, though. Broken Covenant variations of the Crimson Awakener oh, and great. Crimson Aristocrat oh, can be seen in the background of his splash art. Chop that up to another Legends of Runeterra W. The potential for this one's definitely there, but it's not quite reached. Tanzanite is the best chroma, 6.5 out of 10. Broken Covenant Riven. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need you to see this. That's great. That's great. Riven's second legendary skin, and one I personally like better than the first. It's a neat spin on her exile motif, being born an aspirant but resurrected as a never guest, caught in the middle seeing the good and evil on both sides. But how ironic is it that in this skin line based on vampires, a monster with a history of seduction and sexual appeal, this is the one where she has practical armor and a lack of a boob window. But at the end of the day, yep, this is a modern legendary skin with great particle effects, animations, model changes, and voice lines. It's not my favorite Riven skin, but it's still a pretty goddamn good one. Aquamarine is the best chroma, 8 out of 10. 
10. Overall, Broken Covenant gets a perfectly average 7.5 out of 10. This skin line does have some real bangers in it and great potential for exploration of this universe in the future should they decide to. Personally, I would like them to explore more of the Cho'Gath and MF style direction as to me, they are the most interesting of the bunch. And it kind of sucks that many of the chosen champions for the skin line have models older than Dracula himself, but for the most part, I think this aesthetic carries the skin line. But those are my thoughts. What do you fellas think of Broken Covenant? Do you like this new universe? Do you not? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. That's all for me, fellas. I hope you enjoyed the return of Rapid Fire skin reviews for more recent skin lines, so hopefully I'll see you in the next video.